one of the assumptions when you're in business is that you just know things and how to run your business and all the answers to the questions or the challenges that arise. However, I often come across people when it comes to diagnosing what's happening in their sales and with their sales systems, they often ask me, Dr. Nadia, where do I even begin? How do I know what's wrong? All I know is that something is broken. Well, today I want to give you a few pointers on where you can start in order to diagnose and identify potential issues with your sales system. I'm Dr. Nadia, founder of The Doing It Agency and creator of Straight Talk About Sales with Dr. Nadia. Tune in and let's talk about where to begin. One of the things that I love about the work that I do is I get to talk with a lot of people. Now, that may be interesting or maybe even sound weird coming from an introvert, but one of the things that we really, I love is to be able to connect and hear people's stories and understand their vision and what are the things that they want to do with their businesses and why they started and all those cool questions that I get to ask and people answer. However, one of the things that I also hear when people are like, Dr. Nadi, I need help with understanding what is wrong with my sales system. Like, why is this not quite working when I'm doing all of the things? I'm doing the things, I have a coach, I'm working with my team, I'm trying to figure this out, and yet I'm not seeing the results that I desire to see. And so I often get that question, I don't know what I want, I don't know where to begin. All I know is I need help. And so that's when I get the SOS. Dr. Nadia, help me. And I'm so excited to answer. So today, if you're in that situation where you're like, something's not quite right, or you're just like, you know, I really want to hone in and really um, improve the way things run in my business and streamline some things because it's really easy to just kind of be all over the place, then I wanted to share a few tips with you on areas and places to begin to start the diagnosis process. So the first place that I often invite people to take a look at is how are you qualifying your leads, right? So we hear a lot about leads, 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 just go out and get all of the leads. That sounds great in theory, (laughs) but based on your system and your process, when you're moving people along that journey and moving them into your pipeline, you will quickly become burned out and frustrated when you're talking to a lot of the people that are not qualified for whatever reason. So you want to look at your customer or client journey, whatever terminology is that you use or your pipeline. And you wanna look at the different ways that you're starting to qualify your leads before they get to that step around having a sales conversation. Now, obviously, one of the easiest places to start is if you're having regular sales conversations to implement some type of application questionnaire, just so you have some background information on a person before you go into the conversation. That makes it a lot easier. However, there are other ways that you can do that along the journey. And so I invite you to just take a look at your overall process and how are are you qualifying people so that you're attracting more of the people that are a great fit and repelling those, you're like, "Eh, this is not going to be a happy marriage, okay? The second thing I'll invite you to take a look at is just, are you clear, right? Are you clear and using clear language in the solution that you provide? And we can often talk about what it is that we do, or all the things that we love to do, and why we love to do them, and you know, that sort of thing, but your prospects don't care. (laughs) They do not care about all the things you love to do. They wanna know what's in it for them and how your solution will either help them attain something they desire or help address a problem that they have in their lives, their businesses, their health, their relationships, whatever, or a lot of times both, right? So how are you communicating that? And are you using language that makes sense to them? A lot of us use technical jargon, like I'm in sales and I'm an online business owner and we do all these things. And so there's a lot of tech jargon. But when you're speaking with people that may be new 
or you're talking to prospects or leads that have a no clue what you do. They need your solution, but they don't understand what it is you do. Then you need to adjust how you talk about it and help them connect the dots. So they're like, oh, I need what you are putting down, right? That's what you want people to think about. So I invite you to really look at the language you're using when you're looking at your marketing, how you talk about the work that you do. And then again, how you're guiding people along that client journey. And then the last thing, let's see, which one shall I pick? Ah, your mindset. So number three is looking at your mindset and not just, you know, your money mindset and things around, you know, how you feel about sales. It's really about how you position yourself as a sales person. I don't even have time in this video to talk about all the crap about that comes up for people when they say salesperson. Trust me, been there, done that, have a couple t-shirts. However, you're running a business, you're a salesperson, and so is your team. So you want to look at your mindset. And I would dare say even your culture as you're starting to build your team, if that's something you desire to do, and that we really position ourselves within the team. See, this is some language you can borrow as strategic allies, trusted advisors, it's completely different energy, mindset, and approach to sales versus some of the things that you may have seen or even practiced in the past. Trust me, been there, done that, couple t-shirts, some of them I threw away, okay? So you want to be that trusted advisor, a strategic ally, and I'm not saying this is lip service. Like, it all sounds cute in theory, but truly, how do we position ourselves as an organization, as a company, as a team, as a coach, whatever that is for you, as a trusted advisor, someone that my leads or prospects or my community truly trust and they come to me and they know that I will be honest with them when I'm making recommendations for solutions, even if our company is not the best fit. When you get to that point where people are calling or reaching out or talking and they know when they have a conversation with you or someone on your team that you are going to tell the truth for them and not just about your bank account, now, now you're talking and it's going to shift everything. It's also important to note, this does not happen overnight. Like you're not going to post something tomorrow and people are like, oh my God. And I trust her with my entire life. Consistency, but you got to own that. Like that has to be part of your values and really a part of who you actually are. So those are three places to start your diagnosis process to really start to evaluate what may be going on within your sales system. And they're also part of my consistent sales method. This is what I teach my clients all the time uh, because it works and it feels so, so good to be able to serve and sell and build an amazing business. And if you're someone, you're like, okay, Dr. Nadia, that sounded fabulous. And girlfriend, I still need some assistance. No worries, I got you. So click the link below, schedule time for us to go through a diagnostic process together. So I'll, we, we will work together to look at all these different areas. I know I shared three, there are three more. We'll evaluate all six areas in your sales system as part of our method and what we work with our clients and help you identify what's not quite working, what tweaks you can make, and then how you can move forward. Should you choose to move forward with us? Fabulous. If not, guess what? I have an amazing network of people that can support you and I'll be more than happy. I will be honored to make that recommendation and connection. So click the link below, go ahead, book those, those, a session with me, yours truly, not someone on my team. You'll get to work with directly with me and let me help you figure out where to begin so we can fix your sales system and you can go off and serve all the amazing clients that desire to work with you. All right, sound fabulous? So yeah, click the link below, figure out where to begin. Let's fix those sales systems so that you can serve your clients and serve them well. I'll talk to you soon. This is Dr. Nadia signing off. Bye-bye.